I haven't told you guys, Ross has also been working on uh, villager trading, and he's got a villager that gives mending. I'm not sure if I said this. If I have, oops, I won't include it. If I have, there it is. He says that one of them will trade a single melon or a single pumpkin for an emerald with him. Not with me, but with him. So he's willing to trade 15 melon blocks for a book for a mending book because he has another villager that will sell a mending book for 15 emeralds. So right now I'm trying to build up my pumpkins and melons. Would you mind not doing that, please? And get away from my crops. Yeah, I upgraded this one. I upgraded this as well to have efficiency 4. Got some pretty nice armor now. Pants need some work, but I'm gonna try and put mending on all of them by getting 60 melons and, and pumpkins cumulatively. And give them to Ross in exchange for mending books. You little... Mm. Hot mood skeleton. <sighs> well, that sucks. Be this a lesson to you, kids. Don't farm at night outside of your wall. Oh, that's a baby zombie. I don't like those. Oh, right, he can get under the wall. There we go. That's better. I've also begun moving all of my storage down to a storage room, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, right now I need my hoe. Where did I put that? Or do I still have it even? Uh, ah, there it is. I'm adding in a farm indoors, or at least inside the wall, because I really don't like having to go outside for that. Okay, I wasn't recording for it, but I, was, I just bone mealed this plant, and it instantly produced a melon. <laughs> Prevented me from walking on to the next ones. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forgot I did that. And I just remembered. Silk Touch. Much better rates. Oh. That was two emeralds I just got. I think that's how much dried kelp is currently running through my smelter. I'm gonna have a bit of fuel. <laughs> Thank you.